Hi guys, Curly Cry here. I'm back with another dip powder manicure using nail stencils. Today we're going to use iGel Beauty Bubblegum and Baby Powder Dip Powder Colors. Before um, I started my application, I pushed my cuticles back. I applied one coat of OPI nail strengthener and one coat of Oont Peel Off Base Coat and I uh, have washed and sanitized my hands. I am going to use my all-time favorite, a pipette, to apply my dip powder as usual. And I do use one dip, one pipette for each dip powder color, so you don't want to cross-contaminate. And I am using IGL Beauty dip liquids as well. I'm going to apply the bubble gum to my thumb, middle, and pinky finger, and I'm going to apply the baby powder color to my index and my ring finger. With any dip powder application, you want to ensure that when you're applying your base that you keep your layers as thin as possible so that you don't add uh, too much bulk to the nail. And when you um, are applying the actual color, you want to make sure and you're using a pipette, you want to make sure that you kind of rotate your finger to ensure that you apply uh, color to every angle um, or all every aspect of your nail let me say it that way you can take a toothpick and run along your uh, side walls and your uh, cuticle just to remove any excess powder that may have been there along with base if any areas have lifted you can take your finger and pat those down i found that with this bubble gum color it was very dense it was not soft to me um and it may be because of the different uh fine glitters that are in this dip powder um i probably could have got away with one coat i i did go ahead and apply two coats of the bubble gum, bubble gum color but it was pretty opaque in one coat i'm going to finish applying the bubble gum layer to um not layer but bubble gum to my middle finger and my pinky finger again you want to take a q-tip not q-tip a toothpick or you can use a small uh, end of a dotting tool or a cuticle uh, stick and run along your free edge and side wall just to kind of clean that up a little bit um, and again I'm going to do the same thing for my pinky and I found that turning my pinky towards me because it's oddly shaped they have the weirder shaped nails but it is what it is um, that when I turn my uh, finger towards me I can get that better uh, as opposed to using the finger rest that I have um, so once I apply that uh, bubble gum color to my pinky I'm going to brush off all nails and I'm going to repeat uh, and add a second layer of the bubble gum color to those three nails When you go in with your second uh, layer of dip powder, make sure that you have a lint-free wipe available because once I apply a layer of base to the thumbnail, um, I'm going to brush it off on the lint-free wipe before I put it back into the bottle as I don't want to uh, contaminate my base liquid with any dip powder color. So again, you want to make sure that you wipe it off on the lint-free wipe before you um, dip it dip it uh, put your brush back into the bottle so i'm going to repeat that um on my middle and pinky finger and i'll be back shortly okay. just wanted to chime in as well um i'm a diyer by the way if you haven't picked that up uh by now um i just like to do my nails whether they turn out good or bad i mean we can always give it our best, do our best um and if not we can try again it, you know that's the whole you know the fun of it for me at least um also the finger rest that i have the pink one i did purchase that from sparkling co um i don't remember the price point on that um it sits a little higher than um if you've seen my previous videos i have a black finger rest that i use from um I purchased it from liquid liquid layer studio um online i think it was about maybe seven dollars i believe i actually like that one better because it's angled down so that when you're polishing your nails or applying anything to your nails your nails are tilted down so that the product doesn't pull at your cuticle so i actually like that one better i don't know about the sparkling co one um it's just not my my cup of tea and i guess because i got so used to using the um the black one and also you can use it for filing as well 
Okay. And as you can see, I'm starting with the baby powder color. Um, I'm going in with the baby powder color now. And I do use, again, a different pipette for each color to avoid cross-contamination. That baby powder color, I've used it before and I didn't like it. And I thought I would give it a try again. Um, number one, I felt like it took forever for the base liquid to absorb the powder. So when I went to... Um, pat it down number one my fingernail scraped the powder up I had pink on my finger from the bubble gum um, and I forgot to wipe my finger off so I had a little pink tint in there um, and then it was just lifting and you'll see on this um, on my ring finger there um, once I applied this baby powder I don't know what happened y'all it just it was bad I end up with a divot <laughs> in the color application um, but I managed to kind of salvage it just a little bit. Um, like I said, I, I don't know what happened there. I, it was frustrating. So I have that little pink buffer block that I purchased off Amazon. So I didn't want to try to fix it after I activate it. So I just took the buffer block and kind of gently rubbed, um, kind of smoothed that down a little bit. And then I'm going to apply another layer of base and then apply the um, baby powder color again just to kind of maybe try to salvage that just a little bit. I think I did a pretty good job considering. Okay, guys, I, uh, it, I have officially decided that I don't like the bu the baby powder color. It just doesn't work for me, but knowing me, I'll try to make it work again. Um, I'm going to go in my index, go in with another layer of baby powder to my index finger. Um, just because I did end up with that pink on there, I had a, a small divot in that nail as well. Again, I don't think that color absorbs the uh, base liquid well at all so I'm going to apply that color um, I will brush off all of the nails with my duster brush and I will encapsulate the pink nails in clear and then I will brush that off and activate all five nails
I'm not going to apply clear to the white nails because that's where I'll be doing applying my stencil and since this is my first time using nail stencils I didn't want to um, add another layer of dip powder by encapsulating that color in clear um, so just wanted to chime in um, just in case anyone was wondering why I didn't put clear on the white nails so again I'm brushing that off I'm going to apply activator to all five nails I'll do the pink and then the white um, I changed my mind and did the white last minute so that's why you see me doing all the pink ones and then uh, activating the white ones so I will let the activator sit in I'll give that about two to three minutes to soak through all of the layers and activate the product and make the dip powder hard and then I will do my fouling and my buffing off camera Okay, fouling and buffing done off camera. I tried to salvage those white nails as much as possible. Sorry, I went out of frame just a little bit there. Um, I'm then gonna, I have my paper towel laid out there. I'm then gonna take water, some water, and spray on my nails and dry those off. Just to remove the dust um, and debris from fouling. So I'll make sure I dry those off very, very well. And excuse my Band-Aid, folks. I, clumsy me, was opening the package with some scissors and cut the top of the skin on my my ring finger which is a bummer um so once i dry those off i then i will go in with my stencil and i did purchase these stencils off of amazon it was a large pack of stencils um it was a lot of different patterns in a package it came with the tweezers they had a the little cover on there um and i decided to go with the circles um i couldn't get it off with the tweezers but um, i was able to get it off and when you apply the stencil to your nail, and you can use your fingers if you don't have really long nails, um, that's what I ended up doing. Um, so I'm applying it to, I'm trying to line it up in the center as much as possible the, where I want the um, bubblegum circles to be. And you wanna make sure that you um, press down really hard because you don't want any gaps in there. And I shouldn't say really hard, just make sure you press it down well so that um, it sticks to your nail very very well and I'm just folding it over the free edge what little free edge that I have because I did cut my nails down because they broke one broke um, and so I'm making sure I'm pressing it down around the cuticle folding it on the sides um, getting that pressed down very very well um, because again I didn't know how this was going to turn out and this was my first time doing it so um, now's the time where whether it was going to work or not so I didn't know for sure so once I press that down and I'm just using my fingers a orange wood stick the tweezers I'm going to go in with my base and I'm going to paint that over the entire stencil Okay, I'm gonna try to zoom in, I believe, when I apply the base, but you wanna make sure that you apply that. Again, apply it over every um, aspect of the nail and the stencil. I don't know why on earth I was shaking. Probably I was nervous, um, but um, make sure you cover um, every aspect of your nail, um, including um, near your cuticle without you know, getting in on your cuticle, uh, the base. And so once I apply that and I'm you know, satisfied with my base application. I'm not gonna use a pipette here. I'm just gonna lay my finger flat in the dip powder. So I'm just turning it and laying it flat right on top of that dip powder. I'm shaking that off. Now it looks crazy. I didn't know what was gonna happen. I was like, oh Lord, this is gonna be terrible. So when I took the um, stencil off and they came off very, very easy. Didn't have any problems removing it, removing the stencil. I have circles, guys. I was so excited to have those bubblegum circles. You don't know how happy it made me that the stencil turned out well. And I'm just cleaning up um, my sidewall and the uh, cuticle area just to make sure I don't have any excess dip powder there. I'm patting that down, which I didn't need to because again, that bubblegum color really didn't budge at all. So I'm gonna repeat that process on my ring finger and I'll be back shortly.
Okay, so I applied the uh, bubblegum circles to my ring finger and I went, I decided to go ahead and encapsulate in clear because they were raised on my finger. Now you could, if you choose to do a mani like this, you could just go ahead and activate um, the circles because you need to make that hard. And um, if you don't want to encapsulate in clear, because again, another layer is going to add bulk to the nail. I don't use an e-file, um, so it's kind of hard to grind that all the way down without grinding the color down or filing the color down. So um, if you don't want to encapsulate in clear, I don't know how it would turn out if you just activate it and then um, went in with your top coat or you went in with a gel top coat. It probably would work just the same if you did a gel top coat because you are encapsulating. But again, the choice is yours to do. Um, but I did encapsulate in clear. I reactivated those nails and then I did a little bit of filing and then um, I'll be back. As a reminder, when you're dealing with your, um, or before you seal your um, base and your top coat bottles, I always take a lint-free wipe with alcohol and I will wipe off the rim of those bottles because I don't want them to seal shut. Um, I've been doing this um, because I've been dipping since December and I haven't had any problems with my bottles sealing shut uh, when I do this. So I'm applying activator to all five nails and this is what will allow my top coat to be shiny so I'm taking um this wipe here let me tell you about these wipes I got those things off Amazon and I'll try to link them below but they're like a six by six cloth and they feel so good and they're nice um they're nice size and I love them and they are disposable so again I'll try to link those below if you want to try those but with my top coat again you're doing your top coat your first layer you want to do three quick swipes across the nail and before you put your brush back into the bottle you do want to wipe it on your lint-free wipe there um for each nail after I do all five nails I will then go in with a second uh layer of top coat and um, I will still wipe it on the lint free wipe in a different spot but the second layer you can kind of take your time with that um, make sure you cover every area of your nail and you want to make sure that you cap your free edge and if you have longer nails your side wall as well I found that by doing this because I use a uh, peel off base coat I can normally get five to seven days um, out of my manicure I've done I did that with my uh, right hand there and it's been now I'm doing my vo voiceover now it's been nine days since I did that many and the only nail that ha I had lifting was my index finger so that's why you don't see color on my index finger on my right hand but that's just me I wash dishes um, I clean but I do wear gloves as well and I apply cuticle oil all the time so guys um, once my mani has dried um the top coat has dried usually it dries in under five minutes usually i'll give it back maybe five to ten minutes i'm going to go in with my cuticle oil um if you haven't purchased uh i think it's cuticle candy candy cuticle skincare i may be tearing the butcher in the name up because i don't see the bottle right on my video quite yet um but i purchased the scent hot mess marla and it smells like sherbet. It smells so good. She uses that in her video. Um, and I purchased it. I went ahead and splurged and purchased that cuticle um, oil. And it does smell really good. It smells like candy. And um, proceeds, uh, if you purchase that cuticle oil, proceeds do benefit um, the shelter, animal shelter that she um, volunteers at. Um, and you don't need a lot because it's very... Um, not greasy, but a little goes a long way, I'll say that. So guys, um, this is my finished mani. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you feel the need to do so. Um, let me know what you think, whether you like it or you want to try it. But I'll try to link all of the products down below. Thanks guys for watching. Have a good one.